Hello everyone, welcome to day 23 of my Yusuko log. So today I thought I would just code this problem um, right here on this video. So you get to see my thought process and my future self also does. Um, basically I'll just read the problem, try to think of a solution, and then I can code it and check the sample case. I'm not going to submit it because that means I would have to like go to file explorer and it would just ruin the format that I record in so I'm just going to do this one case and if it works then it works. Alright so let's see this is problem 2 circular barn from Musico 2016 February contest bronze. Alright so being a fan of contemporary architecture. Farmer John has built a new barn in the shape of a perfect circle. Okay. Inside, the barn consists of a ring of n rooms, so like that I guess, numbered clockwise from 1 to n. Alright, so like, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so the perimeter here, it's around the perimeter of the barn, it's at least 3 and at most 1,000. Each room has doors to its two neighboring rooms. Okay. And a door opening to the exterior. Okay. So if you're in a room, you can just walk out. Um, and it has a door to the neighbors. All right. So he wants RI cows to end up in each room. Alright. To herd them into an orderly fashion. Plans to unlock the exterior of a single room, allowing the cows to enter through that door. And then they all go clockwise. Alright, so you pick like some door and then you try to get RI cows into each room and they walk clockwise so it says it here yeah unlock the exterior door that will cause his cows to collectively walk a minimum total amount of distance please determine the minimum total distance his cows will need to walk alright so, what I'm confused about is, um, wait, okay, so I think RI is unique for each kind of door. Alright, so there's five in the test case. Um, first line contains N, all of them, the rest of them contain R1 through Rn. Alright. Oh, so Ri is different. Alright. If I remember correctly, this was a simulation problem, so you can pick uh, different doors to start based on what you feel like doing. Alright. Let's see. So the sample case, um, you just have to calculate the like shortest distance to each door or each room from the starting door. So, and and it has to be clockwise. So actually it's not that complicated you just like do the clockwise distance so yeah I think I can start coding now so I've done the beginning formatting already so we have int n uh, yeah we'll do capital N and for int i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus alright so now we get our input uh, maybe I'll make like an array. I'll make it right here. Alright. Integer 
uh, rec cows. So Rexy will be the name of this array. And this array needs to have a size of n. Alright. Cn Rexy i. Alright. Now, um, we do a for loop, another one, uh, based on where we want to start, and then we calculate the total distance. So, like int max distance equals, let's just start it at zero. Um, and then for each starting point, we'll calculate the total distance that you have to do each time. And this will be based on, first of all, the difference between the location of your starting, your starting door and the ending room, or the starting room and the ending room. And then um, the number of cows required in that ending room. So ending room will be like, actually we have to do another for loop, so whatever. Um, for, uh, let's just do i, i less than n. So we'll loop through each number for the starting room. And there are n starting rooms in total. So then, um, let's see, how should we go about this? Um, so they're numbered from 1 to n, which means if we're starting at the nth door, then the, the closest distance would be like, what would it be? It would be straight up the number i for our iteration. Um, I know there has to be another for loop here, I'm just not sure where to start it at. I guess we could start it at 0. I mean, we actually have to start at i probably. Mm, let's see. And this is where we do our distance. We can call this so this or this t equals zero. Alright. So if we're starting at zero then we can just like loop through from zero to n. But if we're starting at another number then we have to go back again. Let's see. So like if we're at two o'clock then to get to one it's not just like the difference, it would be like the whole thing. So maybe it would work like the total number of rooms subtracted by the current one that we're at minus the starting one. So like, let's see. Actually, wait. We can just do another for loop, except we exclude the um the the one that we're starting at. So we do an if statement if uh, j not equal to i. Then we run what we're supposed to do. Yeah, all right. So, problem is, what's it gonna be, right? So we know um, it's gonna be like this t plus equals something. So I would say it would be something to do with rec c, j. So the number of cows required multiplied by some kind of distance some kind of distance so like between the um, distance between starting and ending room so what would we do 
would it be like n minus um wait so if we had like five then to get from three to one we'd go like four five one which would be five minus three plus one yeah okay so the five would be n and then three would be i and then that would be subtracted by j um, you can just see if this works and um, if okay let's just do it. max this equals max this t max this now we can see out max this whoops alright so um, that was like a short kind of thought experiment you just do like some way to calculate the actual distance but why does that work though so when we subtract well the starting door the total minus the starting door that would be like hmm. wait let's see would it work for a regular clockwise motion though so like if we went from like 1 to 5 maybe like 1 to 3 actually so 1 to 3 the distance is 2 and n minus 3 plus 1 is 3 again wait no n minus 1 so like that would be 4 plus 3 we get 7 okay this doesn't work so our plan failed um let's see would it be like the absolute value does that make any sense um so maybe we do like if i minus j or if j minus i is less than zero then we do like n minus that difference all right um but there must be some faster way to do it i'm pretty sure because it goes like one two three four five um if you wanted to go from 4 to 1, how do we do that? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. So my thought right now is 5 minus 4 plus 1, but clearly that might not be the right way. Um, but if it's like 1 to 4, then it's not 5 minus 1. Okay, so like if j is greater than i, then that means, wait, no, uh, it's the reverse. If j is smaller than i, so like we're actually starting at the higher number, and then we're trying to go lower, then we can do like this thing. Does that make sense? Let's see. And then else, this t plus equals rec c j times j minus i, I'm pretty sure. And put that in parentheses. Alright. So we can copy this comment put it right here all right so this seems pretty legit I'm gonna test it out 
Alright. Let's run it. Sixty-six. Oh, that's not right. So there must be some problem here. Let's see. Oh wait, wait, wait. We we have to. Um, we don't need to include this. It's extraneous, or however you say that. This is the shift tab. All right, let's try that again. Cause um, even if we're on the same one, we still have to like take I guess zero steps or something. Oh wait, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's see. Um. Hmm. Wow. This does seem like a problem. How would I solve this? Okay, let's just see if this actually works. Like, is n minus i minus j? Let me just take out the parentheses. Okay, so n minus i, so like 5 minus 4. Oh, wait, it's like you have to minus 1 again because 4 is actually 3 in this situation. Yeah. And then j plus j, let's see. Uh, if you plus j, you're actually doing plus zero. Wait, let's just try to go from four to four to two. Alright, so you go four to five. Mm. So that distance is like from three to five. So like 5 minus 3 plus 1, why did I subtract, what, plus, and um, then we add j, and j is going to be 0 in this case, but we have to make it 1, so we do that again, alright. I don't know what's in my clipboard. Okay. Wait, it just made the number bigger. Alright. So this is clearly not the right answer. We don't do that. Um, could it be minus 2? I'm just trying stuff at this point. It's like... Nope. Hmm. I just can't figure out how to calculate the distance in a circular way. Go from 2 to 1. Just how? Guess you could take the dis the difference between the bigger number and the smaller number or the starting and ending number so starting and ending number wait this just gets me back to where I started huh how annoying So the difference between the starting and ending number in this case is like 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 that is 4 steps so it is also 
that is the ending of there. Huh. Let's see. Else. No, that doesn't do anything. Wait a minute. I was doing it in the wrong order. What? Okay. So, if I is greater. Oh, yeah. It is. Like, I minus J. So I'm kind of stuck here, actually. I never thought I'd get stuck on this, like, normal difficulty problem. Hmm. Hmm. Minus the small number. What the? Okay. Yeah, I can't really think of anything here. Let's see, if it, is it something wrong with the structure of my code here? So, the distance from number 1 to number 5 is that. Number 1 to number 5 is 4. But number 5 to number 1, we have to do, um, what is this? 5 minus... 5 minus 1 is... Pretty sure there has to be a plus 1 going on here. No, wait, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong. Okay, let's just let's see what happens if we run this now. What? Um. Oh wait, we want the minimum. To oh my god. All right. Let's just um pretend this never happened. Oh boy. What? Oh. Alright. So, um, that was embarrassing. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna cut this video. Uh, but I might put a timestamp to where I finally figure it out. So, that you don't, you guys don't have to suffer. Maybe I'll, I'll just I'll just make you guys watch it. You know, since you're if you're the future me, you don't get to skip this part of the video. All right. So um, thank you guys for watching. That was day twenty three of my years ago journey, and I am still making this stupid mistake. Well, I I'm I'm gonna try to make an excuse for myself. Um, even though excuses are excuses, right? Uh, my excuse is that. I don't code in full screen. I just like I I don't rec I don't record videos this way. Like if I were 
in my normal seat, not on camera, then I would just flip back and forth and see that, oh, it's the minimum, not the maximum. All right. So that's what's going on. Um, so there's nothing wrong with this code. It, it's not this part. It was this part. It the, the mistake was at the very beginning. And I believed it so much that I actually never caught on. I believed it was the maximum distance when really it was the minimum distance the whole time. So, um, at least I had another zero for fun. Um, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why this video is like, I don't know, how long has it been? 20 minutes? Or like, even more? Anyway, that's it. This garbage video is over. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.